I've been getting a lot of requests to make an animation for like the character. Meanwhile, the character is moving, and I finally figured out how to do that. And it's very basic, but I mean, at least it's something. Like as you could see, you have him moving around like that. He looks both ways whenever you move, and he blinks. Obviously, you could probably expand from that once I teach you how to do it. So I got a ground character and a background. So this is what I have. And the first thing you have to do is in actions where it says right over here, it'll say if key dot is down key right x plus equals speed you need to add one right after that x plus equals speed so you hit enter and then you have to put in this right here alright you have to put that in equals 100 what's that saying is it shows the character 100 as in like I don't know I guess it's figure what it has to look like for whenever you go right because right yeah, just copy that down. And then the next one would be if key is down, key left, that then you'd have to have it the same exact thing, x scale equals, but then it'll have to be negative 100. What it'll do is it'll switch the character around, so it'll look the other way. So you got those two. And also I recommend bringing max jump number to negative 16. I like that. I think in my last tutorials it was at like negative 13. And also all this this new updated action codes will be in the description. So if you're too lazy to plug that in, just take it from the description. All right. So once you have that, you're going to want to zoom into your character and double click on it so you open it up. And what we're going to want to do is make it make a face. So I'm just going to take a line tool once again, I'm just doing this really basic. You guys could probably expand on it. I'm gonna do that and I mean I'm just I'm just gonna make this really basic. I'm just going to do that and then for the eye what you're going to want to do is get an oval tool <coughs> eyes tend to be white so I'm going to use white and I'm going to do that <coughs> and I'm going to have to bring this down to one and what I'm going to do is now I'm inside the um, character symbol and what I'm going to have to do is make a symbol inside it. So convert symbol, doesn't matter where the registration is. Click OK, make sure it's movie clip. And what you're going to have to do is then click on the eye. And what you're going to have to do is go from 1 to 5 and then hit insert keyframe. Then go to about, I'd say, 25 depending on how fast you want it to blink you could have a 25 or 30 I'll have it at 30 and then what you want to do is go here and you want to make his eye seem like it has closed all right something's up with my all right, but you just want to you want to make it so it seems like his eye has completely closed. So I'm just going to have it like that. And then that'll that'll be it open. And what you want to do is go to create shape tween. So what you have is that it'll be him blinking. So what you want to do then is Put it where you want it. Well, click out of it. First click out of it, and then it should look like that. It should be closed. And then you're going to want to put it right there about. Click back into it just to make sure. Yeah, right about there. Actually, I may want it a little bit higher, like right about 
there. That's good. And I'm going to click out of the character. So now that I have the eye on it, and also the new action code, let me zoom out. Go to control, test movie. There he is. He's blinking. He's actually blinking kind of fast. I should actually change that. So I'm going to go back into him to the eye and I'm just going to bring that to around 35 now I'll bring it to about 40 insert keyframe control test movie test and then there it is now it's blinking a little bit slower still kind of fast but you get the main idea that's how you make him animated so whenever you go this way he's looking that way you go that way he's looking that way uh, you could make like his mouth moving um, yeah so that's pretty much it kinda basic but I mean at least it's better than what you've originally had uh, someone did ask me like how would they do it if they had a stick figure for like leg movements I'm really not that sure how you do that but at least this is a start and if I end up figuring out how to do that or if any of you end up finding how to do that send me a message so I can make a tutorial for it so other people can know and yeah that's pretty much it